Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and let me show you what I've been working on. So, I've been cutting up these legs here. This is one of them and the second one is there. And the reason why I've been cutting it is because we are going to be making a welding table to replace this table that's here. So I got the top here, which is stainless steel from um, Husky. I have this turned around the way it is so when I open the door it hits the back of the table and not the front but yeah but because this was wider these legs were wider than the actual table I had to cut them down and after cutting them down both this leg and this leg after cutting them down I turned the camera off and spent some time learning how to weld trying to get the settings just right and right when i got the settings right i focused on this side to you know now get my technique down packed because this is flux core there's a lot of drips all the way around and we're and i'm using a welder so you guys can imagine the headaches that i had but it's a very basic standard project it's not something difficult, but it is my biggest welding project to date. I'm going to be laying a little bit more than tacks. I'm going to be putting some welds here and here, also up here. Same thing on this table leg. So it's going to be a heavy welding video. Now I am very new to this. So me welding this in place, I don't know how it's going to turn out. I'm just using a whole bunch of levels as you can see here to make it as straight as possible it's not going to be holding a whole building up but i still want it a little straight and my welds to come out somewhat nice all we could do now is start welding now that i have this configured to where i need it or i believe i need it i have it at minimum and a wire feed of four this is new to me like i said I, I i don't know what i'm doing i had to ask a friend of mine to help me out but 
it's it's working so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna be tack welding this on both sides both here and there and also there but where you see the clamps which is right here that's where i'm gonna start and then i'm going to put it on this side as you can see it's not 100 percent straight on both sides over there so i'm going to be working on that and i don't know how this is gonna go so let's just start i'll start putting some tacks and then as i'm going i'll pick up the camera and show you guys where i'm at thought I'll squeeze in a voice over here so here in this part I was having a lot of trouble getting this leg at the correct angle just because the clamp was grabbing but I think because the the vice was all the way on the other side it wasn't able to keep it at the right position don't know if that makes sense but yeah so I welded it on the inside but the weld did not grab so I had to put the clamp back and at that point I didn't even care that it was straight or not. So I just decided here to go on the inside and weld the other side, you know, putting a full weld and that one came out pretty smooth as you can see from my face, cleaning it off. Decided to get it from a different angle to see if I'm going to be able to fill that up. But unfortunately, all I did was Put the weld on top of the leg and not the top part of the leg i don't know if you that makes sense so i just decided to put the weld on the outside and not deal with any welds on the inside anymore it makes the process easier it's ugly because the weld is on the outside and i do not know how to weld uh but yeah it is what it is this is where we're at and, and check this check, check check this mistake out look 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 <laughs> I welded I welded the clamp. <laughs> I welded the clamp to to the leg. I was very embarrassed, but um I'll let the video start going and I'll express on the next scene how I feel about this welding job here. I've been nervous and thinking about this moment since I was at work today and um, these welds came out terrible and I really do not know what I'm doing and to be honest with you guys I'm actually very embarrassed and I want to stop the video here and not continue but um, this is my first somewhat serious welding project so I'm gonna show you guys everything that's going on and maybe you guys could leave me some comments down below some words of encouragement but let me show you what what my welds look like and where I messed up <laughs> so my goal was to weld the inside like you guys see here but I was able to weld this side without problems besides my burger welds and the inside wasn't grabbing on this side, so I just weld, decided to weld on the outside. And as you guys saw, my clamp got welded on. Well, it wasn't this one, it was the other one. But it got welded on in this area over here, and I had to grind it out, which was extremely embarrassing. <laughs> but this over here, I burned through. But in my defense, I already had a hole there, so it was going to be difficult to weld. This part up here, over here, is grabbing and I think that's more than enough and on this side the welds came out halfway decent at least for a beginner so it's booger welds they came out really terrible and uh, like I said I'm embarrassed to show you guys what I just did but 
it's a process and there's something I want to get good at and you're going to suck at it until you're good at it until you keep practicing and become good at it. So I'm just going to call this good for now. I'm going to do the next leg off camera and see how that comes out. But I really like how this side came out and we're going to focus on the positive. The positive is that I'm making moves, trying to develop a skill and practice. It makes perfect. So yeah, I'm going to do the next leg off camera so I can focus on the skill and not so much the camera angle. And if I'm getting sparks on the camera and stuff like that, because that's probably another thing that made me nervous. But uh, yeah, let me do that one and then I'll show you guys where I'm at. All right, I finished the second leg and let me show you how bad it came out. <laughs> so on the second leg, on this part of the leg itself, the bottom support, I was able to weld on the inside and it's a big a booger weld as you can see over here I burned through but it holds and up here I decided to just weld on the outside because welding on the inside and in there if I could get the camera to focus on in there it's a little dark to get the welder in there and get it looking good and actually holding it's 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 not worth the work and I think I'm just not skilled enough to do it but this this weld will do <laughs> this will hold especially for what I'm gonna be doing this one's a little bit thicker and more boogerish but yeah that's my uh, my legs and the goal for this these legs and the reason why it's so high is because I want to make it the same height as this table which is uh, I think it's 34 and three quarters. So I set these legs to that height. Gonna put that on top, the, the metal table on top. But on the next video, and what we're gonna be doing first, is we're gonna be putting the supports. So this comes with a shelf. So the shelf sits right in that area. The only problem is that this is way too wide from top to bottom, which is left to right, to fit between these two. So I'm going to be cutting it to about 48 inches and making it fit there. So yeah. And then in the other videos, we're going to be putting outlets and we're going to also be putting that table on top. That table ha also has to be cut and it's stainless steel. And I don't know exactly how I'm going to be doing that, but it's going to be interesting. So stay tuned for that. And if I'm being super honest with you, I contemplated not releasing this video because I am very embarrassed with my welds and the mistakes I made with welding the actual clamp to the table legs. But um, I think it's important for me to show my, you know, first kind of real project of welding and show you guys the mistakes I made. And I want to be transparent and show you guys that, you know, practice makes perfect and you got to take one project at a time. So yeah, <laughs> I'm just really stressed out and I just want to move forward and I'm kind of dreading editing this video because I'm going to be looking at what I'm doing and I'm going to be saying, damn, I could have done that differently and all these other things. But the most important part is that I took a step and I'm actually making moves on this project and on my skills of welding. So if you learned something new, you can show me by giving me a like, any comments or questions, leave in the comments down below. And if you're interested in seeing this table complete and more of my Booker Welds, consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. Thanks.